Click Magic is the go-to software for affiliate link tracking, right? It's used by tons of affiliate marketers, but it does cost a pretty penny, right? And if you're just starting out as an affiliate marketing beginner, you don't really want to pay another software. You don't want to have to incur additional fees over what you already need to be a successful affiliate marketer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I track my affiliate links to know exactly where my sales are coming from. So I recently started running some solo ads with Udemy again, right? So I figured I really need to zero in and track each and every single click, but I don't want to do it with click magic. Now Udemy is pretty cool because they actually track your clicks for you and give you a bunch of information there. But if you want to really hone in on where your sales are coming from, you can do this without click magic. So let me show you how to set up those affiliate tracking links and it all starts with the product that you are going to promote, right? I promote Builderall, it's a digital marketing tool and every affiliate marketer needs these tools in order to be successful online and they have a really amazing affiliate program. So that is why I promote it. Uh, but if you go over here to the affiliate side of things, whatever program you're promoting, the process is still the same. Go to where your affiliate links are. Over here in the Funnel Club is where mine are and we're gonna start here. So when you get sales or leads for your business, you want to know exactly where those leads are coming from, right? And which of those traffic sources are producing you the most leads so you can really hone in on that and you know focus your attention on it to really grow it and expand it even more. So what you're going to do right here is you're going to take and add a tracking tag to the end of your affiliate link, right? And any good affiliate marketing program should have this option available to you if they don't. I would consider promoting a different product, maybe build or alt like I do, right? So you can go and add the tracking tag. And let's just say this is going to be another solo ad for me. I'm just going to put in, you know, the uh, where I get it. So I'll put in Udemy and then maybe I'll add, you know, the seller's name. Right. And that's really all I need to know where this specific lead is coming from. Right. So I'll just hit save on this. And it's going to update it and add that tracking tag to the end of that link for me. And now you can see it right there. Udemy seller name, all good. And I can take this link and that's what I'll actually use to put on my bridge page. So I'll just copy this and I'll go over to my bridge page and I'll find the button that I want to change over. I'll set my link to this. Right. So that I know that every time that gets clicked and someone uh, turns into a potential customer, a lead or a sale, uh, that that will be tracked for me. So I'll just go ahead and save that. And let me show an example of where you can find that, at least in Builderall. Uh, so if you scroll down here and look at your leads, if I go through params, this little eyeball, I click on that. And it's going to tell you exactly where this came from. The TID is what you enter. It's that extra tag that I just showed you how to do. And you can see this lead came from TikTok. All right, guys. So that's one half of what we need to do right now. We have everything set up to know where those sales are coming from. But we want to know also where the traffic is coming from. So we're going to set up that second half. So you'll need the URL of the landing page that you're trying to promote. Just go ahead and copy that entire link. And then we're going to use Bitly to actually track all the clicks for us. Let me just move myself out of the way here and we're going to hit create and we're going to enter that URL, right? But we're also going to add some parameters. And again, this is going to help us track. So we can put the source in here, right? You see, I used this guy before. If it's skin, if it's going to be Udemy, I can, again, I can change the seller name, right? And that's going to be included on the tracking link and I'll just hit create and that'll create the link. This is the link that I'm going to give the Udemy seller. This is going to be uh, tracking all the clicks from whatever traffic source that I put it on. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. Here's a link that I created uh, a month ago, 767 clicks so far, and you can see where these links are coming from, the traffic source and also the location. So that's very important for you to know. You can see that the most of the refers come from uh, YouTube. So maybe I need to step up my game on YouTube and promote more on YouTube since I'm getting the majority of the clicks from there. I'm also making sure that I'm getting top tier one countries, right? United States, United Kingdom, New Zealand, Australia. These are all tier one countries. So that's the complete process of how you can track your affiliate links without having to pay for something like Click Magic. I do go in and change this out for every traffic source or every new solo ad seller, right? Because you want to make sure that you are tracking every single click. You know where it's coming from. You know where your sales are coming from. So you can double up, triple up on that traffic effort and really grow your affiliate marketing business. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want some free solo ads training, look in the description below and I'll catch you guys on that next hustle. Peace.